Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you an awesome hack for creating your own YouTube intros and outros quickly and easily. They're going to look animated and super professional, so stay tuned for this tutorial. So the tool that we're going to use for this is Canva. So Canva is just one of those magical tools that comes in handy literally every single day for me and my business. I posted a video recently about how to design graphics with Canva, so definitely click the link in the description below to watch that one after this. But today is all about how we can animate with this tool. Now, what I teach you today, you will actually be able to use for a whole bunch of other purposes. So it doesn't just apply to your YouTube intro and outro, you could also use it for social media graphics as well, and I'm sure a ton of other applications. Okay, but since we are demoing for YouTube, I'm going to click create a design and I'm gonna type in YouTube. And you'll see a YouTube thumbnail comes up, so you're just gonna click on that. And this is going to give you the right dimensions for YouTube. Okay, awesome. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the addition of stickers. So if you click elements, and then you scroll down, you'll see that Canva now has moving GIFs, which they call stickers. So let's click see all. And as you can see, there are a whole lot that you can use in your animations. So for example, let's say I wanted to add some stars to my intro. I could absolutely do that. All I need to do is click here and it will add it over to my design area. Okay, so these are really going to come in handy and you can actually just come up here to the search bar and type in anything that you want. So for example, I can do welcome. And as you will see, we have a few different options for animated welcomes. So I like this one, for example. And this is something that I'll be able to use in my YouTube intro. Let's try something else. Um, let's try some hearts. As you can see, we have a huge variety here. Okay, so how would you incorporate this in an intro or outro? Well, really you can get as creative as you want with this and you can make use of these, but it's not just about adding these stickers to one design, it's how we use different pages within our design as well. So let me delete this and I'm now just going to demo creating an intro of just my name and my website from scratch. So what I would do is I would first upload my logo. So all you have to do is click upload an image or video, select your file, and it will upload to Canva. So as you can see, I have the black and white version of my logo. So I'm just gonna click the black version, and then I'm going to resize it by pulling in the corners here. Okay, great, so I'm gonna do something like this. So then I'm going to add the next step in my design. So I'm actually gonna come up here and I'm gonna click copy page. So think of these as the steps of your animation, okay? So I'm gonna go one and then two. On this one, I want the background to change. So I'm simply gonna click on it, come up here to this square, and then I'm going to click and change the background color to one of my brand colors. So yeah, I'm not gonna go in detail about how to use Canva, definitely check out that other tutorial and that will walk you through some of this. Okay, so we have phase one, phase two. Now I'm gonna copy it again. And this time I'm going to change the background. And then I'm going to add one of those stickers. So I'm gonna click elements and I'm going to type in sparkle. <laughs> Actually, I use I use Sparkle all the time. Like I'm always typing that in on Instagram and these really come in handy quite a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this one here. So I'm just gonna click on it and then I can resize it. And I'm gonna move it over to here like this. Okay, cool. So I have that positioned where I want. So now I'm going to show you how our animation looks so far. So I'm gonna click on the play button right up here. And as you can see, this is my animation in the works, but it's very slow at the moment, right? So there's one thing that you need to do. You're going to click on the background, then you're going to click animate, then simple, 
and you can control the speed down here. So I'm gonna go to fast, same with this page here, simple, fast. And this one here, simple, fast. Okay, great, so now as you can see, it's reduced to six seconds. So I can hit the play button and show you this from the beginning. Right, so as you can see, that was a super quick and easy way to create an animation. Now, if it's too fast for you, that was actually a bit too fast, we could change it to medium instead. Cool, okay, so I like that for sure. I also wanna show you, so often I'm using the simple one because then I can control the speed, but I could also for this one, let's say I want to do something different. Okay, so let's try this other one and let me show you that. So this one from the beginning, is now going to look like this. Okay, cool, so that could totally work for an intro. So as you can see, that was super quick and easy to create. And really the secret is in the multiple pages. So this is going to allow you to do a lot. So let's create a much crazier one now. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my stickers. Okay, so I'm gonna start it out with that welcome. Then I'm going to duplicate that, and then I'm going to include a lot of the welcomes. Okay, so we're gonna do something like that, because we're very excited that they're here. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna duplicate that one. And for this one, I'm going to add in a color. Okay, so now I want to add a new page. So at any point you can do that by clicking the little plus sign here. And that will add a plain page generally in the same color. So I can change this though. And now I'm gonna go back to my stickers and see what else I can find. Okay, so little cute coffee, that works. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna center this. So these little purple lines will show you that it is centered. Okay, so yeah, so super important that you watch that other tutorial because there really is so much that you can do within Canva. It is very flexible. So have fun with this and you'll be able to create something super creative. Okay, so now we have a lot more steps. I'm gonna finalize it with my website. So let's add in just a text block. Okay, cool. So as you can see, we have quite the intro now. So I'm gonna click download and choose the file type video and then click download. And this is going to download to my computer. So then what I'm going to do is open up my video editing software. So I use iMovie. I do have a video on how to use this. So I'll link to that in the description below. So now you're just going to open up your downloads folder, grab that video and insert it to the beginning of your video. So this will work no matter what video editing software you're using. So when I place it in, it is good to go. It's just a little slow. So in that case, I would make some edits to the file now within iMovie so that I could control the amount of time each animation plays. Okay, so now it would go there and then straight to that faster. So yeah, that is how I would control it and get it to be the exact speed that you want. So yeah, that is how you quickly and easily create an intro or outro for YouTube. Again, you can use the same strategy of using stickers and multiple pages for your social media graphics as well. All right guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you do end up using this to create your own intro or outro, comment below with a video that you've used it in so that we can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving me a comment below. And if you would like more easy tutorials and hacks like this, then definitely hit subscribe down below and I will see you tomorrow with another video.